flashing warning for anybody that's bothered by flashing lights and screens and things. This game likes to do that. As far as I can tell, there's nothing I can do about it, so... Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm forgetting something. What am I forgetting? Drink? I need a drink. I know that much. Oh, I was gonna, I need to update the list from the PS2 game we just played. Redump, Onimusha 2. We played it, we liked it. Finish. And put it on the list of games to complete. Onimusha 2. On the play, oh. PlayStation 2 currently has no votes and it's not being rolled until we finish the first one. Dope. There we go. Okay. Cozy game. Continue. Um, Autosave. Confirm. Sick. Now drink. Let us thirsty. Pause because time is moving. Mm. Good drink. It's just water, but like, water's tasty, whatever. Okay, let's pet our kitty. Hello, kitty. It's finally not like raining for once, which means basically nothing to us because all of our crops are taken care of automatically. Do any of our trees grown yet? Nope, no trees yet, okay animals then share the sheep look at him all floofy he floof turn down my headset there we go game was loud bro take care of you guys let you outside to eat i don't know how you're gonna eat with all the crap that we got in the way over here but good luck. You can find some grass somewhere, I'm sure. You'll be fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Give you guys some pettins, a little bit of lovin'. Hell yeah, look at them. They so happy. And you can come outside too. Now, try not to get hit by my axe, because we're going to chop down these trees, though. And clean our farm up in general this and that should be all we need chop chop scoop up the puddles who like goes around scooping up the puddles on their land though man no you just let that stuff dry if you get puddles there too often you fill it with like dirt or gravel or something like <laughs> who just walks around with a bucket Cleaning up puddles by hand constantly. All day, every day. Oh, we missed. There we go. Scoop. Is there more puddles? I feel like there's a puddle here. Okay, it's impossible to see behind this tree, though. There we go. There's a puddle. Uh, sure. Make stuff. Make some butter. And some cheese. I like cheese. Make some mayonnaise. Put you in there. I remember we need the fulgurite to turn in. Or did we already? We might have already turned the fulgurite in. We'll still keep a hold of it just in case, though. Because I can't remember for sure. Even though that tree's a little annoying. We'll leave it for now. We'll let it, we'll let it grow big and strong. Um... Might as well put the wood in, whatever we have. Flower. These trees are going bye-bye, though, because I can't be bothered to cut down one at a time, so we just chop in all the dudes. They gone. Now, is it the yarn maker? Which one gets wool? It is the yarn maker. Grass. Do we, um, I can't remember what we decided we wanted to do first. Whether it was house, 
upgrade or if it was unlock the next area. I think we had decided to do house upgrade first. I don't know how much money it costs, but I feel like we have to be close to it. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I guess it could be like 25,000. We're sitting just under 15, well, 14 and a half more or less. Any harvestables today? We can't get green tomatoes. We do have some fodder. Our animals will appreciate that. Speaking of, we do need to refill our fodder soon. It's been a little while. <clears throat> and because of the rainy days that we had, there's definitely like some lack of, of fodder in there right now. In the pens, the, the barns, whatever. <clears throat> Hydrated. Look at me go. Hydrated as fuck, bro. Is this getting both of you? Yes. <clears throat> yes, it is. I don't feel like I'm losing my voice, but I still just feel like congest congested. I've been feeling a bit congested ever since I started streaming today, though. I felt fine before that is the weird part. Did we... We got a picture of you before. We're fine. We don't need another one. Surprise the hammer and didn't, <clears throat> didn't scare him. Like, walking up to him scares him. But the freaking hammer and didn't? Oh my god, all these rainy days have left so many puddles on the property, man. We're never gonna need clay again after today. I do want to get into town at some point. Before everything closes. I think we're fine, though. I don't expect things to really start closing until, like, 5-ish. Okay, I don't think these will go away unless we use them. We could put a pump on them instead, because we do have a pump or two. But, like, we never use our food for anything anyway, so we might as well just do it by hand and eat a little bit of food if we get tired. <laughs> Heavy on... Oh, that's right. It just gives us junk. <laughs> I'm sure at some point the junk will be useful, but as of right now, at least, the junk is never useful. Um, eat. Pick up. Guess we kind of need to take a trip into town, though. To get rid of some of the stuff that we have. Let's finish clearing the farm and then... Damn it. Oh, wait, we needed that, though. That's another thingy that we needed. Um, we will eat shellfish, grilled fish, actually. Screw it. Eat. And we're full. No more eating for us. We'll be back to scoop up the rest of these dudes. Oh, man. And there's a freaking... Oh, this thingy did refill this pond. So if we repump it, do we get another big reward for pumping it again? Or like, how does that work? It just makes me want to fill the farm with crap more. That way we don't have things just chilling here all the time. Like garbage spawning in all the time, that is. Okay, you know what? I was gonna leave this tree, but it turns out it's super annoying, so we're getting rid of it. Go there. Did we get any ore? No, doesn't look like it. Grind me some salt, daddy. Thank you. And some pepper, because that shit's in my inventory. have no big logs? It's a little surprising. Um, not gonna worry about the rest of this. Let's get into town. Turn in some things. Maybe we'll drop off all the clay. So we do have a lot of clay on us. Oh, hello. So, oh, that's right. Today's the festival. Summer Jamboree is finally here. I've been looking forward to this. I'm sure do get a kick out of this event, don't you, Manuela? 
Why wouldn't I? What's better? What better way is there to see everyone in town but to get out there and show off their true power? Tell that to Jason. It takes him everything he's got just to pick up an empty barrel. <laughs> now, Sally, Jason may not be the most brawny guy around, but you're lucky to have such a stand-up husband like him. Oh, hola, stream. If you're looking for the main event in the Jamboree, the Hammer Strike is where the action is. If you're game enough for it, you just let me know. I mean, why wouldn't we join? Worst case scenario, what, we lose? Uh, ba -bum -ba -bum. Speak with Manuela to compete. Does time move while we're here? It does not. But we can't enter buildings on festival days. So much for going to the museum to turn in our stuff then. Okay, well, we're definitely turning that in. We might be turning this in eventually. And all this other stuff is just junk that we need to put away or do stuff with or whatever. We can give that pink cat flower, though, if we see one of the two girls whose names I can't remember. <laughs> I, I literally don't remember. How do we end up clearing this? I imagine it'll probably just clear itself eventually. I'm still... Oh, you're the goddess, aren't you? Bruh. <laughs> I thought that was a new animal. <laughs> it's like, oh. Can't even offer prayers on festival days. Lame. Okay, so where is everybody? Are they on the beach, maybe? Since we can't go in any of the buildings or anything, we might as well do the festival. Mm. <laughs> you! You're the first one I saw, so you get the pink cat flower. You're welcome. I hope you like it. Join the competition. You don't want to join because you're lame. You used to participate when you were younger. You're never too old to swing a hammer. That's what I've always said. Still don't understand why we can't romance Beth. <laughs> Beth looks like she should be a, a bachelorette, a romanceable partner. But is a no-go, I guess. Mm. Talk to everybody for the relationship points. Wow. Hello, Rene, Ren oh. Rena. <laughs> I don't actually I love these camera angles. They're so good. Hi Blair, you can have the moondrop flower. <clears throat> no idea if you like them or not, but it is yours now. Hope you enjoy. Why doesn't Sally join? Sally looks like she'd be good at it. Yes, Mayor, I will be taking part. Uh we'll talk to you last. Everything's ready. Wonder who will win. Pretty confident in your hammer singing skills. Everyone's really in a tizzy. Kind of intimidating. Cheering everyone on from right here. Trick to the hammer strike. Brute strength ain't the only thing you need. Feel that. You gonna give me your uh? Gonna give me your pro strats here, man? my first year I could really use it only seems fair right I'm assuming we're gonna need our hammer for this so let's get out this hammer show everybody how this is done like to enter the hammer strike uh here are the rules press square to let the barrels fly if you stop the moving gauge on the red mark you'll get a ton of points three barrels are given per round the barrel with the highest score in each round will be added to your total okay so it's more about just hitting square at the right time can I practice? Practice would be good. Oh my god, okay, okay. <laughs> so it's more about it's 
So is that also worth 10 points? Yeah, okay. So it's not about just getting it as far as we can. It's not actually about strength. It's about just getting in the red. Okay. I think we might be able to do this. Ooh, and points are worth more each round. So it's really important that we do well towards the end. But because of the way it works, we only have to get in the red once, right? The rest of it doesn't matter. Does it get faster each time too? Oof. So this is going to be worth, what, like 10 points? No points? Oh, no, it's in the blue. Okay, I thought we were in the gray. I think that's red. Too bad this isn't the actual, you know, round, the actual game. Wait, everybody else got zero for the final round? Sure. Sure. Enter the competition, whatever. Like, what's the point of training anymore? I don't think I'm gonna get any better at it here. Oh, is it the same setup each time? I still feel like we should try. Cause like, what if there's a tie? Does it go off of other scores if there's some sort of tie? So I'm still gonna try and get the red each time. I think that might be red. Yes. Barely, but yes. Okay. Red. Perfect. Right in between the two. Love to see it. So lucky a camera team reverse right now. It's one button. Even if you did, it wouldn't actually be that bad. Because, <laughs> like... I would just be hitting it with my left hand instead of my right hand. <laughs> like, if there was any... Oof. Is that in red or is that in blue? I can't tell. Blue. If there was like... If it was any more complicated, sure. But it's not like flicking the stick or button combinations or anything. Like, just turn your monitor upside down. <laughs> I mean, it does rotate. I don't think it rotates that well, though. That's gray. Oof. That's gray. Not what we want to see. Oh, that's zero. No points at all. Bro, is that gray again? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. We did better during practice. That's got to be red. That's red. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh, that was scary. All zeros. Look at that. Everybody got zero but me. Get wrecked, everybody else. Is it only one rounder? Got gold hammer trophy and 5,000 gold? Bruh, we rich, though. I'm not going to even try to say that word. Listen up, everybody. I'm going to announce our results. This year's winner who dominated the competition to reign supreme is... It's fucking me. They already told me we won, bruh. <laughs> Congrats to me! Let's go! Five bits here to congratulate me. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the five bits. That's all for this year's Summer Jam, Marie. These sweltering days keep something, but as long as we remember how much fun we had, we'll all be able to beat the heat. Ah. Alright. Um, does it, like, make it super late at night? 7 p.m. It's not that late. Uh, cause we still need to do some scooping though. We got, we got the scoop. Our inventory is going to be completely full of freaking bags, man. Bags that I don't even want. I mean, we could sell them or throw them away probably, but... Oh, let's put them in a chest, I guess, for now. If we want to or need to. 
Oh, there was some sugar cane over here too. We should grab the sugar cane at least. And we don't need any of this stuff. We should have put away the other junk so we had a little bit more room in our inventory. Grab you. And then get the scoping. Riveting gameplay right here, man. The scoop. It was neat the first time we uncovered one of these little puddle hole thingies, but like, now it's just kinda, I don't know. The rewards just aren't worth the effort. How much money do we need for this? 20,000, oh, we're so freaking close. If we had the money, I might have just did it because, I don't know, we're here and we can't go to the shop, so why not? Is it just one more puddle up at the top? Last puddle, besides the big one, the freaking lake. Do we even have room for the spoils? I think so. I think it usually gives us three. I wonder if the trophy's worth anything, like if we decide to sell it. We'll probably just put it on our table, like the other trophy or whatever that we have, but... I'm just curious, though. We scoop you? No, okay. Don't we put the sugar in one of these things? I don't know, whatever. Do we have any stuff to put in here? No. Animal products would be a no. We're gonna sell the oyster or whatever we got. The trophy is worth 3,000 gold, so if we ever need the money for something, it is there. But for now, we're probably just going to put it on our table. And I guess just to clear up some freaking inventory space. It wouldn't be so bad if they stacked, but they don't stack, man. Nothing in this game wants to stack. Grass... Um, I'm not going to empty the machines right now. I don't care enough to do that. Sugar cane in here. We missed some grass. Whatever, it's staying there. What do we have? Fodder. We can go refill our animals' fodder real quick, too. So I was just saying we need to do that anyways. Oh, why do we have sap in two different spots? I feel like I messed up at some point. Put you away. Grab our fodder. Don't mind me, animals. I know it's late. Feel free to nap or whatever you need to do. Just trying to make sure you got some food. Don't want you to starve, bros. Sick. Okay. I think everything else just goes in the house now, right? Besides the fodder, which we'll put here. Yes. Um, this stuff goes in the fridge, so... Might as well take it in with us. Oh, I should have grabbed the kitty a treat. I never think about that. God, we have three different qualities of butter now. Assume... I don't know. I was gonna say, assuming we're not gonna get any more, like, level 1 quality butter. Maybe we should take that out, but... Whatever. We have some room in our uh, fridge? Not chest. Fridge. So I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyways, guys. That's our day of cozy game. Kind of a shorter day than usual, I feel like. But I don't know. Maybe not. It's probably about a normal day. But I'm tired as hell. It's late. We went a little over tonight. But, uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming out. I do appreciate you all being here, and I'll see you probably not tomorrow now. So, uh, the, the next day, whatever comes after tomorrow. Lele attack um, just redeemed hydrate. Thursday. <laughs> I'll probably see you guys Thursday. Have a good night. Thank you all so much. And as always, be kind to each other, y'all. Bye!
One last mm-hmm, words are hard. One last hydrate for the road. Goodbye. Good night. Come here, you bastard. Oh god. Okay. Forgot your path. I thought you went all the way around for some reason. Let's go. 